Hey there everybody, Richard R. Blaster here. Just following off this quick video to show you my reading list for the rest of 2019. As you can see, I've got a fair stack of books there that I want to go through. And those on there, we'll just quickly go through them. I've read most of these, but I've forgotten what the contents are on them. So, here we go. Absolutely knackered trying to find all these books as you get ready for these to fall on the floor so not in any particular order we've got The Virgin Way by Richard Branson How to Listen, Learn, Laugh and Lead and then we've got Tony Robbins Money Master The Game 7 Simple Steps to Financial Freedom he spent a couple of years creating this book, interviewing some of the greatest financial minds in the world and look how big that is, that will just take a few months in itself to read and then we've got Stephen R. Covey, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People Powerful Lessons in Personal Change got a few Gary V books here, Ask Gary V because if you watch his regular, reg, if you watch his YouTube channel regularly, you'll see Ask About Gary V episodes where he interviews people, or well known people. Try and get this off, and then we've got The Rules of Wealth, second edition by Richard Templer. I believe it is by Richard, yeah, it's by Richard Templer. Let's have a look in the side. Yep, there you go, Richard Templer. I think you'll find some you'll find one of the a couple of these which Samuel Leeds covered in his latest Thursday Thoughts episode, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Got another sort of so here we are. Get in order to do anything and never feel powerless again. Everyone seems to love this. The Wolf of Wall Street, How Money Destroyed a Wall Street Superman by Jordan Belfort. This is another interesting book. The 50th Law with 50 Cent and Robert Greene. We've got Uncommon Sense by Mark Homer. This is another good book by Dwayne Jackson. He created a well-known accounting software news basically detailing the days he got caught smuggling drugs which he thought was a good idea at the time and then we've got The Tipping Point, Malcolm Gladwell How Little Things Can Make a Big Difference, that's another good book we've got Famous Ones Here, Rich Dad's Cash Flow Quadrant, Guide to Financial Freedom by Robert Kiyosaki, everyone should know this guy another famous book, The Four, the four Hour Work Week. Escape the 95, Live Anywhere and Join the New Rich by Timothy Ferris. And now we'll get to the ones that are on the floor in a moment. And I've got this one here, this tiny one from Grant Cardone, the millionaire booklet. He apparently wrote this in just two hours. He always says, put this in your pocket and take it with you, but I haven't. So I'll just start doing that. So here we go. Here's another Gary V book. Crushing it. That's a follow on from Crush It, all the people who have implemented his teachings into and, and actually blown up their business. Another awesome book, The Secret by Ron de Byrne. We've got The Art of Happiness by the Dalai Lama and Howard C. Cutler. We've got Duncan Bannatyne, Anyone Can Do It. That's another good book to read. Got into doing care homes and ice cream and jersey but life leverage by rob moore got the chimp the chimp paradox mind management by professor steve peters that's another good book it's basically if countries were named after famous products and stuff like that that's another good book I haven't read that in a, in a few years We've got Who Moves My Cheese by Dr. Spencer Johnson. That's another good book about dealing with change in the workplace or, or work in general. 
than we've got. This guy doesn't do any property anymore, which is a shame. Paul Ribbons, hustle your way to property success. This is another good book by Seth Godin. The Purple Cow, basically how to make your business stand out from the norm. And we've got Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I think you all know this book. Also detailed by uh, Samuel Lee in his latest video. We've got No BS Grassroots Marketing by Dan Kennedy and Jeff Slutsky. We've got another Gary V book here, Jab Jab Right Hook. Means give a lot of content out there and then once you've created a lot of value Throw in a right hook for your own purposes. That's basically how to tell your story in a noisy social world. And finally, we got Mr. Nice and Howard Marks. That's a very, very interesting story. Another person who is, I think, big into drug dealing. Yeah, there he is. Many, got many guys. Is another good book. So there you go, let me know what you think and let me know in the comments below of, oh now you can see me, so let me know in the comments below what you're going to be reading for the rest of this year, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified every time I upload and I'll see you all soon, thanks for watching, bye for now.